Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. My name is Victor and today we will talk about image map coordinates. The example we will build in this tutorial looks like this. So we have um, a screenshot here. This is just an image. I have a screenshot of one of the of a chart and then whenever we hover on these image blocks, you can see that they change their color. That's what we will build in this tutorial. We will use jQuery and of course we will use a jQuery plugin which is map highlight. So let's go ahead and create our first file. I work with Sam. So my main folder is htdocs which is in our in my exam folder. Open your main folder and create another folder here. I will call it map1. Um, for example, map1, okay? And then I open my Notepad++ and I will type here, um, I will create my first file, which is index.html file. So let's type here doc type, which means and that this HTML file is HTML, um, HTML5. And then we have here HTML tag. Let's close our HTML tag. Let's save this file. Well, it's it's show it gives me already my map one folder i'm gonna name it index.html and let's continue here we have our head section and then we have our body section okay now i told you that we should call our jquery first of all we have a page title let's call it image image map okay below here we should call our jquery Let's go ahead and, and search on Google. Uh, let's type here jQuery latest library, latest version. And there is a website which is jQuery.com slash Dolan. And here you can find that, you know, different versions of this jQuery. The latest one is 3.2.1. And I will get the compressed one. Okay. And then now let's search for our map highlight. There it is, map highlight JS. And there is a there, there is a GitHub um, directory here. Let's clone this. This is the plugin. Let's download it. Okay. Let's go back to our let's go to our Dolan folder. And here you can see the jQuery. Let's copy this jQuery file. Let's go back to our htdocs map one folder. And then I will create another folder here, which is JS, and I'll I'll keep here my JavaScript files. Now I'm going back to my Doland folder. I will unzip this file, and then from this folder I will get just the jQuery point map highlight point min. Okay, take this file. I'm going back to my htdocs map one JS, and of course I will paste it here. Now let's go back to our index html file and here let's use our script tag and this is a javascript text javascript and then we have our source which is js folder and then of course we have their let's see jquery okay don't forget about extension if you copy it in the way i did and then don't forget also to close your script tag Okay, now let's do the same thing for our highlight. We have JavaScript, and then here we just change the name to jQuery map highlight me. Okay, check one more time. All right, in our body section, this is the most interesting part. So, as you saw in the example, I'll show you. It's um, it's an image, and I'm gonna use the same image. So this image is in my map folder right here. I'll copy this image and I will paste it in my map one folder. You can use a different image if you want; it's not a problem. And now we should generate the coordinates for each of these blocks. I will take just the first two, and there is a. Um, uh, Generator online for this kind of uh, coordinates. Just type type on Google. Let's see Google 
um, image map generator online okay and we see this one image map.net let's click on this one uh, we have two options here we can select an image from our pc or from another website let's select it from our pc go to your folder map one and then choose your image and it's gonna show it to you right below these buttons now below this image we have our we have few options here where we can choose the shape you can add a link for each of these sections like for example let's take the first one and we have by default already an active option okay let's choose it i'm i'm gonna choose holly so choose your first section like your first block or area from your image okay this way you know you can play around with them and then if you want to add another one just click on this red button which says add new area and and choose it from the left side you should you should activate it from the left side choose your shape um, if you, you can add links if you want for each of these because whenever you hover it you can also click on it okay let me choose the second one too really quick If it's a really small block on your image, you know, small area, you can and you cannot, you know, play with these images. You can just press Ctrl Plus, and it's gonna zoom in um, your page. So you can correct your lines now. Okay, looks good now for me. And then you you see this button here, which says "Show me the code." Click on it and copy all this code. Now let's paste it in our body section. okay we can see here we have our image tag which has the source for our image if you have a different you have a different name for your image make sure you change your name here and if your image is in a different directory you can also add your you should also add your directory here and then keep anything else you see like on use map tag keep all this one we also should add a class here for this image so Using this class, our map highlight will know which what's the image which has the coordinates. Okay, so let's call this one um, first image map. Below this image, we can see our coordinates for each of that blocks because we we got just two blocks, right? So these blocks have uh, four points. Okay, this one has four to first one and the second one. So for each point, we have two coordinates. And if you look in your uh, code, you can see the first block has, this is the first point, two coordinates for the first point. This is the second point, the third one, and then the last one. And the same thing for the second block or the second area. You can see here we have target, um, tag, alt, tag, title, herb. This is a link and there's the shape too. Okay, now, the last step is to add, we should write a little bit of JavaScript here, just a line of JavaScript. And then using this line, we will tell map highlight was the, we should just tell the map highlight was the image class, or was the image that has these coordinates. So we have a JavaScript here. JavaScript tag. Let's close our tag and then here of course we will use jQuery because it doesn't work without jQuery and here we will have a function and in this function now we tell um, jQuery what's the we tell this map highlight jQuery plugin what's the class okay jQuery here we have our class which is first image map okay now we should write our plugins name all right okay looks good to me let's save this file and let's go let's go ahead and check it 
So type here local host, and then we have our folder which is map1. Let's click on it. So right now when you hover on this few blocks, you can see that they change their color, which means it works. I hope this tutorial was um, useful to you, but I'm gonna show you an example. I had a project to build for um, for a big company which would sell different tools for it. It was like a construction company. So, for example, if you if you buy a drill and your drill is broken, you know you broke your drill, and there is just a small piece from that drill that you need to replace um, in order to fix it, you can just go ahead and that web go on that on that website. So I think it was like service Makita. It's a Russian uh, website because we, uh, I built something like this. I built it with my friend. Uh, let's see. Okay. Choose one of the tools. And you can see here, this is the, um, the tool. They, they have different tools and they have so many pieces for each tool, as I told you. And now you see if you hover on any of these tools, uh, you can see that they change their color. And they also have a table in the right side um, where you can see. So where, where whenever you hover, it doesn't matter where on the table, in the table or on the image, it also changes the color from the table or from the image. So here on the right side, you can see this is the name for each of these pieces, and then they have the price, and then the, how many of these items are in this tool in total. And if you click one of any of them, let's say, for example, we click on this one, it's going to add it in, uh, to your cart, and then you can just order them online. It's a really cool, cool stuff, right, guys? Um, you can do much, much more. You can just build maps. Really, like for example, let's say there is um, the United States map, and um, you have different options for information for each state. So whenever somebody's hovering on um, on a specific state, and if they click on it, then you you're gonna you know will have you'll have a link for each of those states. We're using CSS. You can play. You can do so much stuff with that, guys. All right. Thank you very much for your attention, and see you in the next tutorial.